Hey everyone, today uh, I'm going to do the final part of this series for this tutorial. Uh, let me just call it for me. No, it's not boundary. I've been using grass all for too long. It's tiny there. Surface. Alright. Um, so, this is going to be the last part of the tutorial. It's just going to be an overview of not everything, but just kind of final recommendations, final thoughts on Grasshopper and how to really utilize this program to help you out as a modeler or a 3D visual artist or anything along those sorts of that. So let me start with this. So the way to use, you're not going to know, with this program, you're not going to know everything. You're definitely not going to know like a bunch of stuff. There's no way. Like there's no way in hell you're going to know everything. So this is 35. So so the way to do it is to understand um, how everything works. Just understand kind of how Grasshopper works in general. Now, Grasshopper works off of a list configuration, so everything uh, list manipulation. Let me just this is a circle. Thing, so if I add more circles, yeah, if I add more circles, it should be fine. So this is gonna be a very short video, but. My final recommendations is just make sure you understand how a grasshopper works, and um, if you ever have like any troubleshooting problem, it's um, most likely going to be a list issue. The reason why I have this is just to have something on the screen, kind of entertaining. Uh, but uh, sorry about the noise in the back. If you s if you want to, also this is a great example. This is a technique called circle packing. Um, I personally have no idea how to do this. I know it requires the kangaroo as well, the kangaroo uh, plugin, but I actually have no idea how to do this. So if you want to know how to do this, there's the, I found this one very component that it's basically all this, but they compress it into one node, so it's easy to kind of uh, circle pack. The circle packing is kind of confusing in the sense that you need to make sure everything kind of connects. But anyways, make sure this is the size, so it changes uh, that. All right. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to let you know that there are certain techniques. So there's like circle packing, there's square packing. Um, uh, I'll blow up this screen for a second just to show off all these uh, components. This is the toolbar. Everything is normal here, defaulted. Uh, then we have Diva, which is a environmental program. Uh, these are very nice. Um, I haven't used it yet, and I'm gonna learn how to eventually. This is a structural program. Uh, so I'm going to have to, it's called Salamander, it's very new, uh, if you look it up on Food for Rhino, it's available there. I am going to learn, they have a tutorial video on there, and I'm going to learn how to even use the basics of it, because I feel like it would be very helpful to understand how to uh, make structure literally, and study it through um, this program. Let me see, it's all these, I, I don't know what any of these components do. So, this is Honeybee, which is also like Diva, but Honeybee has a ton of, a lot of stuff. It's a ton. Like Jesus, look at all this. I don't understand all this. I, I want to learn how to use all this because it's definitely useful. Like this is chimney or uh, internal massing. I don't. I, I. I really have no clue. Archism is very similar to Diva, and don't know exactly what the differences. I just download everything so I can see um, which one I'd like the best when I learn them. Psychometric chart. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know everything. Ladybug, same kind of weather app. Kangaroo, physics. Now, this one is very popular, so it's Kangaroo 2. This is the update. So you need to download both Kangaroo and Kangaroo 2. I think this one is version 0.99, and this one's 1. something. Uh, Millipede, uh, this one's outdated, so don't worry about this. Lunchbox, this is a one I highly recommend. We used this in one of the tutorials already in one of the videos. We used a, uh, uh, a paneling quad panels, or it was either that, or rectilinear panels, somewhere here. Anyways, it was probably quad panels. And there's also structure here, too, very light, just 2D trusses, all that stuff. And a lot of other... You can also put in, like, rhino commands, so you can, like, have a set command toggle. Then we send true to command, and I'll send the command string to execute it. But, anyways some other stuff this is i don't know what this does i don't even know why i have this kuka is the robot arm pro ah sorry so the robot arm program so um i don't use this at school we had to use it for a class so but other than that i really have don't know much about this extra this is kind of nice it creates minimal surfaces next relash next 
app mesh relaxations and I don't know what this one is but yeah um if you if you don't I would highly recommend checking out all of these I will link ev uh, every single one of these down in the description uh, these will be helpful to have so yeah guys um, I don't know everything you should know everything there's no way you're gonna know everything about this program like every little thing but you can definitely like it, you have to get to the point with modeling when you get to the point in modeling you can kind of understand how everything works so when you look at some when you look at a precedent or if you look at a photo if we look at um, anything along the lines of that we, you can start to understand how you can have a general approach to things so yeah guys um, thank you guys for watching I uh, hope you guys have a great day um, and I'm still gonna start uh, I'm gonna start a new video series uh, that'll be coming up I won't announce it quite yet but I'm gonna start a, another video series inspired by this tutorial kind of series that I have so just because we're ending a series doesn't mean I'm going to abandon this channel or anything completely. I'm definitely going to keep uploading because I love uploading this type of content. And I feel very rewarded trying to help you guys out with this. So um, definitely going to start a new series that I hope you guys will really enjoy. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.